Welcome everyone, your iPhone 17 Pro Max has the black screen of death, it's just not working. I'm going to cover multiple fixes, so if one fix doesn't work, just keep on watching. The first reason the black screen of death appears is because there is a software glitch and the very simple solution is to just do a force restart. So once this is done, your iPhone's good to go, there is no harm to the hardware. So in order to do a force restart, I'm going to show the key combination, then we'll do it together. So we click release volume up, click release volume down, and then click and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. Now my phone works by the way, yours will stay black this entire time. But pause the video, prepare your phone for the force restart. I'm going to begin in three, two, one, click release volume up, click release volume down, Click on the power button, keep this one held down, do not release. If your phone is on the black screen, you won't see this. And just keep the power button held down for between 30 to 45 seconds. If you release by accident, repeat the key combination. And you should see the Apple logo when you do release from the power button. If this doesn't work, give it maybe five to six attempts, just because that key combination is extremely precise to do. Now, the second reason your iPhone 17 Pro Max is not turning on, uh, you know, just a black screen of death, is potentially the charging port. So just take a look in the charging port. I'd recommend just getting a torch and just shining it in. And you can see I have a perfectly clean charging port, but yours might have lint or dust. And if that's the case, potentially the charging cable is not being plugged in correctly. So in order to fix that, what I like to do is from your old iPhone box or just an old phone box, use the SIM ejector tool or use like thin tweezers or just something where you can get into the charging port. And you can see here, I can just put in the SIM card tray. I'm just going to pull it up to the top right and I'm just going to swipe across and then pull up and you can do the same for the bottom part. And this won't damage your charging port. Don't worry about that. Just go very smoothly. Don't put any pressure. And you can see, just remove the dust just like that. And then once that's done, plug it in, try again. If that's not working, then what's probably happened is your battery or your display cable has unplugged from the iPhone. Now, we don't need to disassemble the phone to plug back in the cable. Instead, we can use our fingers and we can try and push the cable back in from behind. So what we're first going to do is with our thumbs, we're just going to from here to here, we're just going to push down with our two thumbs, maximum force, just push down as hard as you can, like this, just push down, and just do the entire back of the iPhone, do the top part as well, around the camera lens, do that same motion for the entire front screen, just do the entire front as well, just like that, just do a full front screen, then what I want you to do is with two fingers, with your iPhone on a desk, just tap as hard as you can, all the way across, do the top part as well, and then do the uh, front screen, the exact same thing, and maximum force, don't worry, your iPhone won't break, you can see my iPhone's just fine, and then finally, with our two thumbs, we're just going to push as hard as we can to the center, so push like this, push, push, you just do this for the entire back like that and then do the front screen as well just do the entire front screen as well once that's done try and connect your iphone to the charger and it should uh, turn on what will typically happen you know this works is when you hear clicking sound because that is your display cable or your battery cable being plugged back in to the device i'd also recommend trying a force restart so click release volume up click release volume down click on the power button the instructions i showed earlier on in the video because if the display cable is plugged back in, then uh, you might need to do a false restart. And then once you're done, you should be good to go. And that's it. Now, real quick, if you found this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video useful. Thank you. Reason being is YouTube don't promote my videos like they used to. And so any engagement on this video really goes a long way. If you did not find this video useful, any questions, any concerns, just let me know in a comment section. I'll try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.